Okay, so this is a relatively new sawmill, uh, less than two weeks since we bought it, or the guys I work for bought it. I'm just operate it. And uh, I want to point out a little bit of a design flaw that I see with the blade tensioner on this Wood Miser LT40. Um, I had to add fluid to the blade tensioner. It was getting a little bit low. When it gets low, you start running out of threads. And so the process, if you watch, there's a technician that shows you how to do it. But you've got to back this thread off, push that plunger all the way in, and then back the block off. Then you have to, it's very hard to see, there's that little uh, filler cap in there, and apparently it used to be a 7 16th, now it's a hex key, and I worry if that thing strips out, uh, there's no getting it out, but that's that's not the major issue. The major issue is they tell you to grab onto the end of that shaft and manually pull it out, and then you add fluid little by little in there. Well, that's all well and good, but when you go to pull that shaft out, first of all, it's really hard to get a pair of channel locks or anything in there. I mean, I tried, obviously these aren't the right tools for it, but I tried those, they slipped off. My channel locks were way too big to fit in there. These needle nose vice grips are too small. So finally, I ended up getting these channel locks, but I had to go around the back side and put them over or in between the wheel like that and grab onto it and push. Now what they say in the manual is don't get your tool any closer than a quarter of an inch from the edge or any further than a quarter of an inch from the edge of that shaft. So anyway, my, my feeling is, is they need to Either put a piece of square stock on the end of that shaft so you can grip onto it with something. Or cut a profile in the end of the shaft. Or even drill a hole in the end of the shaft so you can shove a screwdriver or a pin or something in there to help pull it out. Because it is, it's not a fun procedure if anybody's ever had to do it. And again, what they say is don't put your tool any further away from the end of that shaft than a quarter of an inch because when it goes into that there's a seal in there and if you start marring that shaft you're going to start leaking fluid or you're going to lose the seal so anyway that's my my input from a rookie wood miser user